Logic Pro for iPad has been out for a wee while now, and I'm sure you're really enjoying getting to grips with this amazing new iPad DAW. I've been getting a lot of questions around how AUV3 instrument plugins work in Logic Pro. So for this video, I've teamed up with the lovely folks at Moog to give you an overview of how third-party instrument plugins work in Logic Pro for iPad and show you a couple of cool things that you can do with them. I'll be using three AUV3 instrument plugins throughout this video. One of the very best synth apps on the entire App Store, Minimoog Model D, the amazing ambient powerhouse Animoog Z, and Moog's incredibly deep modular synth, Model 15. Loading up your AUV3 instrument app, in this case Minimoog Model D, can be done in a couple of different ways in Logic Pro for iPad. You can load up your instrument app immediately when opening a brand new project by tapping the small More button in the bottom right of the MIDI track option. From here, tap on the Patch slash Instrument dropdown, tap on Instruments, and then tap on the Instruments submenu. From here, find the name of the developer who produces the instrument app you want to use, in this case Moog, tap on their name, and finally tap to select the instrument you want to load. You can choose whether or not Logic's browser will open when you open the project here too. Tap Create, and your new MIDI track will be created. Alternatively, you can hit the plus icon in the top left of the Playhead section to open this track selection screen and follow the previous steps to get your MIDI track up and running. To view your instrument plugin, tap on the plugin dial at the bottom of the screen. Double tap on the instrument plugin's tile to expand it. You can resize the plugin window by holding and dragging on the lines in the top right of its window, or tap those lines to make it full screen instantly. You will find preset sounds for Model D or your chosen instrument AUV3 in the browser window. And you can either play your instrument using the plugin's built in keys, or tap the Play Surfaces button in the bottom right of the Logic window. And you can dive in and tweak your chosen sound by using Minimoog Model D's full interface here until you get things sounding just how you want. You can choose from five different play surfaces, and each one can change the way your AUV3 instrument sounds dramatically. Keys, drum pad, fretboard. Chord strips, and guitar strips. If like me, you're not exactly a world-class pianist, you can hit the scale button in the top right of the play surface window, toggle the activate switch, and all playable keys or frets will switch to a scale of your choosing. Alright, let's jump over to Animoog Z and take a look at how MPE functionality works and how MIDI effects can completely transform your AUV3 instrument sound. If you have an instrument plugin that, like Animoog Z, is MPE capable, with the instrument loaded and the play surface open, tap the three dots next to the scale button to open this menu. 
tap on surface settings, then toggle the polyphonic pitch bend button. In the Y mapping menu, tap after touch. Now in patches that support it, sliding your fingers up the keys and along on the play surface will drastically change the sound. In the Plugins Tiles view next to Animal Z on the left is a section where you can tap to add MIDI effects. From the menu that pops up, you can select from Logic Pro's built-in stock MIDI effects plugins. In the Arpeggiator, you can do things like adjust the rates, octave and note order variance here, or use the presets to create your sequence. The modulator can apply a variety of weird and wonderful warping effects using its LFO and envelope controls. You can also load up third party MIDI effects, though some do currently require an update from their respective developers to be fully functional. Finally, here's how you can use Moog Model 15 to play back Logic Pro's MIDI loops and how you can use audio effects to enhance and change its sound. You can use the browser to search through the hundreds of MIDI loops that Logic Pro comes with and then drag and drop those loops into a Moog Model 15 track and have it play back the regions. Find the loop you like using the browser and Logic's loop search criteria. Drag that loop into the workspace, not the playhead as this will prompt the creation of a sampler instrument. Then either click on and drag the loop region into your already created Moog Model 15 track or create a new one and then drag the region into it. Moog Model 15 is a ridiculously deep virtual modular synth that has almost unlimited sound design possibilities. Luckily there are also loads of presets here if you just want to jump into its suite of amazing sounds. However you decide to approach it, you can enhance its sound using Logic Pro's built-in audio effects. In the plugin tiles view, tap on the audio effects section. The menu that pops up will list all of Logic Pro for iPad's stock effects plugins. Tapping on reverb in this menu and then chroma verb will open one of my favourite stock Logic Pro plugins. Chroma verb is a fantastic reverb effect that can do everything from add a little bit of flavour to a sound. To 
make it sound like it's a million miles away in the depths of space. Breaker is a completely new in Logic Pro plugin and a great way to add some movement and dynamism to your instrument sounds. Again, tap on an empty audio effect slot, this time select multi effects and then tap on Beat Breaker. Beat Breaker has three types of effects or edit modes time, repeat, and volume. You can select an effect using the edit mode buttons. When selected, each mode appears as a colour. Time mode is orange, repeat mode is magenta, and volume mode is yellow. When you select an edit mode and tap a slice, the parameters for the selected slice are visible at the top of the main editor. You can adjust the parameter level using a gesture or directly drag the parameter value sliders. Right, that's some info on how to use and get the most from AUV3 instruments in Logic Pro for iPad. Thanks again to Moog, you'll find links to all three of their amazing apps featured in this video down in the description, and if you could give that like button a good seeing too on the way past, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're interested to find out how Logic Pro for iPad performs on a variety of different iPad models, Watch this video next.